Hi everyone, this is Dave and welcome to a one take tech video. Now this video came about because of a comment on a previous video by John Prosser. And he said words to the effect, I'm the master of the one take video. So no edits, hardly any mistakes, etc., etc. And I took that both as a compliment, but also sort of as a little challenge. So I'm gonna bring you a mega tech haul video with no edits in it. The only small edit I might make is I might speed up some sections of the video because I'm doing a lengthy unboxing section. But apart from that, it's all gonna be with no edits. So here we go, one take tech video. First product is from Anchor. And this is the Anchor PowerPort One Plus or PowerPort Plus One. This is a quick charge three charger, a very simple device, but very, very useful, especially if you own one of the latest smartphones or tablets that support quick charge. We've got some branding on the side, a three pin plug on this side. If you live in another country, it come with a country specific adapter. We've also got a green USB socket on the back saying that it actually supports Quick Charge 3. So if you've got a device like an LG G5, for example, or Samsung Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge, any of the latest devices that support Quick Charge, you can get it from zero up to around about 70, 80% in a very short period of time. So this is well worth checking out. Now, as with all of the products I show you in this video, I will leave links in the video description. Next up is a cable. Now the reason I show you cables is because a long, long time ago, I had an issue with an Apple manufactured cable. It was a lightning to USB cable and it actually melted and stuck to my finger. It wasn't a nice experience. It actually woke me up. So, um, you know, there's the smell of sort of a melting smell. So I've always been on the lookout for good quality replacement cables. Now this isn't a lightning cable. This is from Tudia and it is actually a USB-C cable. And I wanted to show you it because it's beautifully made. So we've got a USB-C type connector on one end, USB-A type connector on this end, and it's a braided type cable. So a lot more robust. And something like this should last a much longer period of time than the cable that's included with your device. So if you've got something that supports USB-C, this is well worth checking out. Pardon me. Right, let's move on. Let's do a pair of earphones. These are from Studio. Now I'm probably gonna get the pronunciation wrong. Studio Vasa Blah. That's what it says on the back. And they are wireless earphones, Bluetooth connectivity, and they come in a really nice construction. Now you see this top segment here, that is actually the remote section. So this is what gives you a track control. It's also got a tiny little microphone built in. The little square section is the battery. And on this side here, you've got a little cover that hides a micro USB charging port. So you charge these up. The battery capacity is really good as well. They last for, I've been getting around about five to six hours on the test that I did with these. And they work really well. We've got like a flat cable with some branding on it and really nicely designed earphones. Let me give you a close up of these earphones. Look at that. If you've got a rose gold iPhone, these will match perfectly. Not only do they look superb, but they actually sound pretty good as well. The bass extension on these isn't that great, but other than that, they sound really nicely detailed. And for a wireless set of earphones, they are super light. So well worth checking out. Let's move on and do another product from a data. This is called their two-way transfer, very aptly described. And what it is, is it's a card reader with a lightning connector on the top. So you can see here, we've got a little mini cable with some flex in it, lightning connector on this end. And then on this end, we have got a micro SD card and a full size SD card slot. So this will read cards into your iOS device, or indeed you can move the files the other way as well because it is two-way transfer, as the name sub, uh, describes. So this works extremely well, and it's super lightweight, and really good for if you wanna get some photos off of your iPhone, for example, to free up some capacity. So really good product. Next product is also from Adata, and this is their sync and charge cable, two in one. This is very, very useful. Now I know you all think I am an Apple fanboy, 
but I do own other devices as well, including some Android devices. This is super, super useful because on this end here, we've got the full size USB cable. On this end here, we've got micro USB, but if you want to charge your iPhone, simply put the little adapter top on and it's got a lightning connector. So a very, very useful two in one cable from a data. Next up, I'm going to show you something that came in a generic packaging. This is what the packaging looked like. It just says watch band. And this is for my Fitbit Blaze. Now, previously on my Fitbit Blaze, I had their supplied silicon strap. Very, very comfortable. But something I noticed with the latest Fitbit straps is they are very difficult to keep clean. Look at all that gunk on there. Now I wipe this down once or twice a week and it's very, very hard to get all of this muck out of the grain. This is an alternative watch band for the Fitbit Blaze. It is leather, very, very easy to fit because it's got little quick release pins on it. And I think it looks very, very nice. Just look at that, really, really comfortable. I absolutely love it. So if you're looking for an alternative watch band, I think these are about seven or eight pounds, something like that on Amazon. Again, link in the video description. So moving on, whilst we're on the subject of fitness trackers, let's take a look at an alternative fitness tracker. This is the Wave HR from Riversong. This is what it looks like. It's got a heart rate monitor built in, time and date, incoming call notification, calorie test, sleep monitor, reminder to move, and a phone finder. Now the nice thing about this, as with most fitness trackers, is it's multi-platform, so it works with Android and iOS. It's got a very similar clasp to some of the older Fitbit devices. It's got some Riversong branding on this edge as well. Nice pattern to the silicon strap. If you look on the back there, you can see the little connectors for charging and also the heart rate monitor. It's got a very simple display on the front and then just one button to push on the side here as well. Just super lightweight, works with an app of course, so you can get all of your data on your device. And I just think it's a really cost effective alternative to these main brands. It does work very well indeed. So this is the Riversong Wave HR. Moving on, let's do a microphone. Look at this. Look at the retro styling on this. This is the Shure, let me show you the actual packaging. The Shure MV51. Now this actually works with an iPad, an iPhone, an iPod, or indeed a computer. And it's like a, a digital microphone, and it's got five different modes for either speech, vocals, or instruments. And you actually control these by this sort of front section here. And it just looks superb, look at it. Just wanna give you a little sort of 360 on this little kickstand on the back. I think, if I am right, this actually unscrews. So this is like a, a little rubberized foot. This unscrews, you can attach it to a mic stand. It's quite stiff to actually move around, but if I move that around, you can see the connections on the back. So you've got the micro USB connector and also a headphone monitoring port as well. Really very, very cool indeed. You get LED feedback on the front and it just sounds absolutely superb. If you're looking for something that not only looks the part, but sounds the part as well, and you really wanna go fully digital, this is well worth checking out. This is the Shure MV51. So let's move on to something that might light up your life. I love my lighting technology. I love color lights, I love LED lights, I love light strips, I really do appreciate them. This is the LIFX, and this actually works with Nest, and it's a 1055 lumens, which is equivalent to a 75 watt bulb. This is what it looks like. Very, very cool. Now, what's really neat about something like this is it comes in bayonet or screw type fittings, but with some lighting systems, you need something else to actually go in between the light bulbs and your internet connection, for example, or your home network to create a connection between this and your devices that you're gonna control it by. With this particular one, you don't need that. This actually directly connects via Wi-Fi to your router, and then you control it via an app. And it's very, very simple to set up. Let me just show you this on the front here. It says they're adjustable, so you can actually 
adjust the brightness and it's got a 40,000 hour lifespan on this. Unbelievable and 20,000 uh, turning on and off actuations as well. That is unbelievable. And it is just so, so cool that you can actually control this and change the mood and lighting in your home. Very, very cool indeed. I love products like this. I just am fascinated by what sort of mood you can create just by altering your lighting. Very, very good indeed. So let's move on and I'm gonna show you actually another light. This was sent to me by Firebox. Are you ready? Oh. This is a question block light. Super Mario Brothers. It makes me wanna do this. Ding, da ding, da ding. <laughs> it is just so cool. Now you can turn the sounds on and off via the back here. So yes, it has got sound. And it also works via batteries or via micro USB. I just so happen to have a micro USB cable just here. So we're gonna plug this in, like so, and we will give you a demonstration. <laughs> that is absolutely awesome. I love it. This is a great piece of fun. Also obviously acts as a light. If you are a Nintendo fan, a Super Mario Brothers fan, or you just want a cool looking light, this is awesome. Now, as I mentioned, you can turn those sounds off. It does work via USB as demonstrated here. Also works via battery and it's available from Firebox. I just love it. In fact, I love it so much. We try it a few more times. Yeah, I, I just really love it. It's great fun. This would make a great gift for somebody. So enough of that. Let's pop it over to the side. I'm going to leave it turned on. Gives a little bit of a glow coming from that direction. Let's move on to another product. Now, this actually, this product here could actually be used with that light I just showed you. This is from Powerad and this is called their Slim 2 Mobile Power. Now this is a 5,000 milliamp hour battery pack. So you can charge this up, stick this in your bag when you're going out and about, and then if your iPhone runs out of energy or your Android phone or tablet runs out of juice, you can simply plug in your device charging cable and charge it whilst you're out and about. Now if I push this button, you'll see the little lights light up. There are four in total, and each one of those represents about 25% of power inside this internal battery. And 5,000 milliamp hours is good enough to charge a standard sort of smartphone battery from zero to 100% approximately two times. So a very, very useful device. I say this in a lot of my videos, these are essential items if you travel a lot, because you never know when you're gonna run out of juice in one of your smart devices could potentially be a lifesaver. So definitely pick up one of these. It comes with a micro USB to full size USB cable as well. And in fact, let's see if this will actually power that light. That'd be interesting. So we're gonna plug that in there. We're gonna grab the light, unplug the cable that I've got it plugged into at the moment, and plug in this little battery and turn it on. <laughs> so now I'm running this off of the little PowerAd Slim 2. Awesome, absolutely love it. Really very, very cool. So super handy device. Let's just pop that to one side. Now let's move on to another product. Now I've got a couple of cases here I wanna show you. They're very, very similar. This one is from Berkeley and this is what the packaging looks like. This is their wallet case, it says on the back, and it's made of leather. Smells really very, very nice. This is for the iPhone 6S Plus or iPhone 6 Plus. We've got a nice leather folio style case here with some card slots in this side here. And let me just pop my iPhone 
into it. We have a look, see what it looks like. Now I always use cases on my devices purely because it just keeps them looking nice. That looks really cool. Wow, love it. Absolutely love it. That's what the phone looks like inside the case. And when it's closed up, you've got this little magnetic type closure. Very, very nice indeed. I like that a lot. We've still got access to all the ports down the bottom as well. Access to that. Also a little cutout for the camera. Really very, very nice indeed. And I love the smell of leather. We've got some branding on that bottom corner. Nice attention to detail on this case. So this is a really nice leather folio for the iPhone 6 Plus or 6S Plus. I'm pretty sure they do other sizes as well. Now I have got another case. Nomo are one of my favorite, favorite brands. I've got Nomo bags, I've got Nomo folios, and I've also got Nomo folio cases. This is their premium leather folio. This is what the product packaging looks like. They obviously do it in different sizes. This one happens to be for the iPhone 6 Plus. And the reason I like this so much is because of the combination of this nice dark antique brown leather cover and orange, which happens to be one of my favorite colors as well. And it's super smooth inside. We've also got some card slots and organizational pockets on this side. Let's try it in the case. go yes this might become my new case I think I might use this actually full-time now look at that it looks absolutely fantastic love it I absolutely love it let's do the sniff test Wow no chemical smell from this at all it, that is a good quality really nice grain leather Look at the attention to detail on this. Very, very cool as well. The bottom is open, but because this is a folio style case, there's nothing actually sticking out the bottom, so it's fairly well protected. I love the look of this. Folded back, of course. Yeah, it's a little bit bulky, but it's okay. It also has this feature here, where you can actually use it as a stand. So if you're watching a video back, you could use that as a stand to watch the video back nice and easily as well. I really do like that. So this is the Nomo Premium Leather Folio. Well worth checking out. I really like that. I really do. That is amazing. So anyway, let's slip this out of the case. The reason I'm taking it out of the case is because I need my iPhone to show you the next product. So the next product comes with this. This will give you a clue. This is the main product packaging. And this is the Ring Video Doorbell. I've been wanting one of these for a long, long time. And this is just amazing. You actually use this to replace your existing doorbell and you can hardwire it in. Or indeed, if you haven't got a doorbell, you can just install this and it'll run off with a rechargeable battery. You don't need any sort of existing wiring or anything like that. It connects via Wi-Fi and interacts with an app on either iOS or Google Android. So, oh, there's also a Windows Store app as well. Should mention that. Let's just slide this out. Now I have already had this out of the packaging, so I know what it looks like, but inside it's presented like this. You get the doorbell itself, you get the tools to install it, everything that you need. This add-on, if I just quickly show you this, this is like an external ringer. So if somebody pushes the video doorbell without this, it just sort of ring on your phone. And you can add other users as well, it's not just the one person. But if you want to actually have an external ringer, so you plug this in somewhere else, and it will actually ring through the little tiny speaker on this. So that's like a, an add-on product. Let's just remove this, and I'll show you what it looks like. So, you get instructions in the box. You also get uh, this backing plate. This is what you attach to your wall. And then you would then attach the doorbell to the backing plate, like so. Yeah, and it's got little security screws on the bottom, so you can screw those up, so you're not risking somebody stealing this. And then you turn it on, and it sort of gives you some guidance there. I've already connected this to my network. So let's just launch the app on my iPhone. Hopefully this should work. Let's us see if it works. It should do, because I've had it working already. 
So we've got here, uh, da -da 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 -da. yeah, we've got here some sort of uh, uh, log of what's happened previously with the doorbell. And let's just push the doorbell button to ring it. I think it's still searching for my Wi-Fi network. So this is the section of the one take video where you might find this section speeded up. So here we go, let's try again. It says battery fine. And I need it to actually work. Let's try ringing it. I think it's forgotten the settings. So now we've got, here we go. It's doing, so. there we go, it's now working. So it's now rung and it's my phone is on silent at the moment. So you can see if I hold the camera up there, this is the sort of view you get on your iPhone. So you didn't hear my iPhone ring purely because I've got it on silent for recording this video, but you can actually see me speaking into the video doorbell. Hello. May you let me in, please? I have a delivery for you. And then, of course, you've got a little talk button. So you can actually push that talk button. And this has got a tiny speaker built into it. So you can talk to the person at the front door and maybe say, yep, yeah, I'll be there in just two seconds. Hold on, don't go away. Don't take my delivery back to the uh, depot. I'm coming down to the door. And then you can obviously come down and, and answer the door. It also acts as sort of a little mini security camera. If you pay for the cloud service, you can actually store activity in the cloud. So that's really cool. So you can actually gain access to any activity that happens at your front door. So this is a really cool product. This is the Ring doorbell, video doorbell. I absolutely love it. Let me just turn this off and we'll move on to the next product. Right, so I hope you enjoyed that. I really do like it. I think it's just a fantastic product. Very, very cool indeed. I just need to cancel that out. There we go. So we are back to normal video. So I'm gonna show you something I don't normally show in the tech videos, but I love my watches. If you watch both the Geek Noise channel that this is being published on, and also my Luxury Lifestyle channel, you know that I love timepieces, and Aviate send me quite a few of their watches to have a look at, and they sent me this one. This is their Hawker Hurricane Mark I. And I think it just deserved to be showed to you today. This is a beautiful, beautiful watch. The actual model number of this, I'll read it out whilst I give you a close up, is the AV401501. This is what it looks like on the back. Very, very cool. Look, you can see my screen in the back. Highly polished case back. Really, very nice. Really good, genuine leather strap. We've also got some complications on this one. So you've got a chronograph feature. So you can set the chronograph feature going with the top button. And you can see that ticking round. And then you can stop it again with the top button. And then you can reset it with the bottom button. Nice onion sort of crown, big crown for adjusting the time. And the other complications you've got in here, if I just move one of the hands out of the way, you'll see at the six o'clock mark there, we have got a little tiny date window, and you also got two sub dials in there as well. Very, very nice case, and it looks, oh, I'll show you that crown close up as well. Must show you that. Very, very nice crown on the side. Now, let's just pop it on. It's a very thick gauge leather strap, which will become more supple with time, but it is still super comfortable. I absolutely love AV8 watches. Let me just pop it on a little bit tighter. There we go. They just make really nice designs and they're so well made and great value for money. There we go. That's what this looks like on. You've got a couple of little pieces of leather on the strap as well. So we can keep the strap nice and comfortable. And that's what it looks like on the wrist. Very, very nice indeed. This is a really nice watch. Very, very comfortable. I love the bright white dial on this and the markings. It just looks absolutely superb. Look at that. 
classy really really like it obviously quite a sporty design not too dressy but i just love the clean white face and very crisp markings on this as well really nice the date window is quite small but perfectly legible and it's got a little bit of loom on it really nice absolutely love it this is the av8 uh, hawker hurricane mark one so if you're looking out for a stylish looking watch with a really distinctive look, this is well worth checking out. So what else have we got? Something behind me there. Should we take a look at that? Let's do it. Let's take a look at this product over here. This is the Kit Sound Malmo. Ah, look at this beast of a speaker. This is a really big Bluetooth speaker. Now I wanna show you the top edge. We've got the main power off on, on and off button on the top and also the controls for the audio. And then round on the back, we have got a carry handle, also a port on the back. We've also got USB output. We've got an auxiliary input and then the input for the cable just here, the power cable. This is a beefy speaker, 30 watts of power output on this. A really nice cloth grill that goes all the way round and all the way round the back. Uh, it is a stereo speaker, but you've got minimal separation between the two uh, drivers inside, but it sounds awesome. And this goes very, very loud. In fact, I'm gonna pop it down on the desk because it is heavy. This goes really loud. It's got a metal top plate. This section in the middle with all the controls, this is plastic, but it's got a nice finish to it. And this metal plate just feels really good. A nice brushed finish to this. Really good quality materials used in this. It's a nice solid build. Now, apart from the fact that this goes up nice and loud and it will fill a large size room very, very easily indeed, the sound quality is one of the best kit sound speakers I've heard. It really is. And one of the best speakers at this price point I've heard as well. So well worth checking out if you're in the market for something that's a bit beefier and produces a nice, loud, clear sound. The actual bass frequencies on this are really impressive, very impressive indeed. So I'm just looking round on my desk just to check that I've covered everything I wanted to cover in this video. And I've actually got a couple more products to show you. So let's move on. Let's move on to another product from Kit Sound. Now, these are their Euphoria Bluetooth earphones, up to five hours of playtime from a two and a half hour charge, and they support Bluetooth version four. You get a carry case inside the box, and this one's a little bit different from those ones I showed you earlier, in the fact that the battery and all of the controls are inside one little tiny block rather than two separate blocks. So we've got track control on there, as you can see. We've also got a little pinhole microphone as well. And then we've got one of the earbuds quite near to the control. And this is all braided cable. So very, very nice quality cable, nice and lightweight as well. And that goes down to the second earpiece as well. So these are a little bit bigger than those other ones, but they look really nice. And they actually sound very, very good indeed. You've got a good battery life on these, don't forget. Now, the drivers inside produce a really good frequency response and the bass sounds very, very convincing. This has got a nice bass extension on them. You actually sort of wear them around the back like this. Very, very cool. A really good bass extension, as I was saying. Mid-tones, very, very good. And these are nice and detailed. Now, I'm not sure if these are metal or plastic. It certainly sounds like metal. They feel like metal as well, but they must have some sort of coating on them because they've got this like gun metal, uh, gray metallic finish to them, but very, very well made. Now the frequency response is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, and I think they go lower than that. They sounded really very, very good indeed. So this is the Kit Sound Euphoria earphones. Well worth checking out. We're getting on for a 30 minute video now with no outtakes and no bad mistakes, unless you can find one from earlier on. But I just wanna move on to just one last product. I'm just gonna take one last look around. I think I've shown you everything I wanna show you apart from these. Now I will be using these in a future video. So this is just a little sneak peek. But I've got some products here from Micromuff. And these are tiny little microphone covers for various different cameras. 
So I've got two skinnies in these boxes here. Let me just unbox one. And they are absolutely tiny. But what these are for are for little microphones on compact cameras where you haven't necessarily got uh, an external microphone socket. So you actually stick these, they come with like little sticky buds with Velcro attachments and then you've got the little hook and loop system and then you stick these on the top of one of your cameras. So for example, something like this, which is the Panasonic GX80 or GX85, you've got the microphone array on the top. You've got no input for an external mic on this. So what you can do is actually stick this onto the top over the microphones and it not only makes the camera look very, very cool indeed, but it also means that you've got some wind protection on those microphones. So if you're out and about filming on a windy day, it's not going to ruin your audio. And you can leave these on pretty much all the time, but because they're Velcro, they're quite easy to take off. Whoops. So if you are using this indoors, for example, and you know you want non-muffled audio or you want the full range from the microphones you can simply take it off for the whole day but if you're in a situation where you're moving from indoors to outdoors regularly you could leave this in place so this is the micro muff skinny and i'll show you the other two this is the fat boy Urgh, a little tight packaging there we go this is the fat boy, so this is obviously a bit bigger. So rather than being an elongated uh, sort of rectangular shape, this is a square shape. And then obviously we've got the bigger sort of uh, fluffy piece on the top. So that's the fat boy. Pop that back in the box. And then the last one is just called Micromuff. I think from memory, this one might be two separate pieces. Oh no, it's still one, but this is the, the very small one. I actually could have done with two of those because I've got my uh, Canon G7X Mark II and I would have probably liked to have put two of these on but this is just for a single microphone and it's got like a circular piece on there and then of course the fluffy piece as well. So I'm going to be testing these out because I use my little compact cameras a lot whilst I'm out and about and these should come in very very handy indeed. So these are all from Micromuff. Again, I'll leave a link to all of the products I've shown you. This is the Micromuff Skinny, the Micromuff Original, and the Fat Boy. And they're just very, very useful to have if you record a lot of video. So anyway, that is it for this mega tech haul. The one take tech haul that I really thoroughly enjoy doing it. If you've got any questions at all, about any of the technology you've seen within this video then please do leave me a comment below or just leave me a comment below and let me know which your favorite product or products were within this video i really would appreciate it please also give me a thumbs up thank john for this video and for his encouragement by saying that i was the master of the one take video i really do appreciate that thanks for watching please do subscribe to the channel and i'll see you again soon in another video